The last thing I want to talk about with assemblies is assembly references and how we can really understand where the references lie. So for this, I'm going to go to Open. I'm going to select Swing Arm Assembly 6. And before I select Open, I want you to notice that there are a few options inside of here. We have Mode, Resolved, Lightweight, Large Assembly Mode, and Large Designer View. If you have large assemblies and very complicated components, you might want to open in lightweight or large assembly mode. These can increase the performance and really save you time by not loading all components. You still get an idea of what components look like, everything will behave properly, but you won't have to open them up if you don't need to edit them. There's also a configuration option. Now, if you have multiple configurations of your assembly, you can choose which configuration to open. We'll be talking about configurations in a later chapter. Display states are different ways that you can visualize your components, and we'll be handling those in our visualization chapter. We also have options for references, and this is really what I want to talk about. When we select references, it'll open up all the components within your assembly and tell you exactly which ones it's referencing. For instance, the dog bone part, and it tells you exactly which folder it's located in. The shock assembly, as well as the linkage. Now, the great thing here is if you have an assembly where your components, your sub-assemblies have gone missing, you can select them and you can replace them. So if you know where they are, if they've moved, or if you wanna change the references, you can select replace and you can manually find them. If you double click on them, it'll allow you to open Windows Explorer and look for them. If you modify the name inside here, you will update the name of the component as well as its reference. If you simply change the name inside of the SOLIDWORKS Explorer or the Windows Explorer, a lot of times you'll end up with a broken reference and you'll need to relook for that component. Now the references only point to external components. So anytime you have an external part or an externally saved part, like our linkage that we created, you'll have a reference to that part. Remember I said that an assembly is really only like a hyperlink. It figures out where the parts are and it imports their general parameters. It doesn't necessarily bring the entire part in. It's a little bit different than the part environment, but as long as you take your time to understand the structure, you should have no problems.